Click our news in Reedley. Emanuel Schools reaches a settlement with the county and the state for reopening their schools too soon. CBS 47's Josh Moran shows us what was agreed to. After nearly two months in a court battle, the county and state have reached an agreement with Emanuel Schools, allowing for its schools to conduct in-person learning, but with strict rules in place. Emanuel Schools opened for in-person learning against state and county orders in mid-August. The county then took legal action against the private school in Reedley, leading to a protest outside the courthouse. Two months later, under this settlement agreed to on October 14th, according to court documents, Emanuel Schools must abide by local and state guidelines. Its plan includes temperature checks and screenings for students before entering a school bus and campus, self-certification forms from staff each morning, face coverings are recommended but not required for kindergarten through second grade students, face coverings are required for all students in third through sixth grade, and 10% of staff must participate in surveillance testing. The surveillance testing in schools is something Dr. Voris spoke about on Friday. As we bring groups together, especially in a school setting, uh, we want to get ahead of any cases or outbreaks that happen, and we feel like a baseline testing program is appropriate. A court date is scheduled for Tuesday. The document states that in light of the settlement, the state and county shall inform the court that they're withdrawing any request for monetary sanctions or attorney fees and costs. And the director of communications for Emanuel Schools says they'll be providing a statement later this week. Jocelyn Moran, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. And in developing news near Alaska, there is a tsunami warning in effect this after a 7.5 magnitude earthquake hit just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. There were several strong aftershocks as well. Meanwhile, in Southern California, officials say there is no threat of a tsunami off the coast here. Tonight, CBS 47 is on your side. A man who has worked for almost 40 years as a landscaper had his trailer full of equipment stolen in the middle of the night. Surveillance video from a neighbor's home shows the thieves towing away thousands of dollars worth of lawn tools and equipment. CBS 47 investigative reporter Kara Rucker joins us live with more on this one. Kara. Right, Ken. George Neal is 61 years old and has been mowing lawns and landscaping for 36 years. He's proud to be self-employed and doing what he loves. When he saw his life's work being towed away, it was a feeling that went straight to his gut, wondering if this would mean the end for the business that he worked so hard for. George Neal is the type of worker who wakes up with the sun seven days a week. I've been doing this 36 years. He's always had an eye for landscaping and bringing life to a client's property. Lay your grass, bring in your rocks, plant your plants. You know, Last week, uh, Neil says his trailer full of equipment and tools was stolen. Practically my whole life work was inside of the trailer. Surveillance video from a neighbor shows an SUV turning a corner with what Neil says is his trailer after the lock from his truck was cut. I got up about five that morning, looked, came outside and just hit the ground. My trailer was gone. So a neighbor called CBS 47 on your side, wanting to be a good neighbor like how Neil has been for him. Everybody needs a good neighbor. Joshua Moon started a GoFundMe on behalf of Neil. You can tell that it's straining him now that his trailer and his old equipment has been stolen. George Neal has a family to provide for. I have 12 grandkids. They come say, Papa, you hurt? <laughs> I tell them now, Papa doing good. It's going to be okay. Questioning whether this setback would push him into retirement. Ah, I, I don't know. I just, I mean, right now, I mean, I'm hurting because what happened. But ultimately deciding he won't let the thieves steal from him twice, not allowing them to take his business too. I'm, I'm going to get me some more equipment and keep working, you know, and that's what I'm setting forward to do. I'm, I'm not going to walk away from it. A police report was filed. Unfortunately, nothing has yet been recovered. If you'd like to help Neil's landscaping, we'll have ways you can do that over on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. I'm reporting live in the studio, Kara Rucker, CBS 47, on your side.